Hi, my name is Tuli and today I will talk you through our analytics overview so that you can get the most out of your reporting in your Team Taylor platform. Let's have a look. Let's start by clicking into our analytics tab. When you first get to your analytics tab, you are taken into the overview view that we can see in here. Your analytics overview is split into three main sections, which are career site, recruitment and team. Up the top here, you'll also be able to see your current pipeline and you will have the opportunity of filtering this, for example, based on jobs, departments or locations or any of these other options here. Your filters here or your time frame here is also by default on a 28 day period. But if you would like to change it, you can do so by clicking here. For example, for this purpose, I am going to change it for the whole last year. When we scroll down on the overview page, you will be able to find information on all of the different sections that we can see here on the left hand side. And if, for example, you would like to see a little bit more information on one of them, you can simply click onto it and it will take you to a page where you can find more detailed info. However, we will actually go through these step by step by using the menu here on the left hand side. Let's start with having a look at the career side tab that we can see in here. The first one we've got in here is visitors. You can simply see the visits that you have in your career sites, so the content pages that you have created in your Team Taylor platform. We can see also how many applicants we've received and the conversion rates of those applications. Next, we have our devices information where we can see which devices our candidates are mainly using to come to our career site. Here we can, for example, see the desktop and mobile, but you would also be able to see a tablet here if some people would come in here using that. Then we also have our traffic sources where we can see where our applications are coming from. For example, if they're coming from your website, from any promotions, or you can also see unknown source here. This unknown source means that candidates may have blocked the cookies that you have in your website, or they may be using a VPN that doesn't allow us to actually track where they are coming from. And lastly, here we have our promotions tab where we can see, for example, if you are using trackable share links or any other kinds of promotions, and then we can see if those candidates have actually applied through them. And again, what the conversion rate is. Now let's move on to our recruitment tab, where firstly, we'll be able to find our pipeline overview. This will show us the amount of candidates in each of our different stages. So inbox, screening, interview and offer. When we scroll down here, you will also be able to toggle on stage breakdown, which allows you to see all of your individual stages that you maybe have created for your jobs. You can still, of course, from here, see which kind of stage type those stages are. Next, we have our pipeline speed. Here we can find the average, minimum and maximum times that it takes for our candidates to be moved forward or, for example, rejected in our process. In our pipeline conversion, you will be able to find details of candidates from the date they have applied to a job or from the date they have been sourced into a job. We can see the conversion rates of then progressing through the different stages in our recruitment process. And for example, if we scroll down in here, we can see the conversion rate of how many candidates we actually hire from the people in our inbox. So in our case, we, for example, hire 9% out of all the candidates that apply. Next in here, we will be able to find our hires report. Here we can see whether the candidates have, for example, applied to the job themselves or if they have been sourced into a job. And if you would like to know a little bit more details on this, you can also click onto the data in here. You can also find out hires by department. And when we scroll down, we can see our times to hire as well as all of the candidates that we have hired and, for example, the source they have come from. In the meetings tab, you'll be able to find all the details about your candidate meetings, which are most likely your interviews that you're having with the candidates. We can see how many of those you have had. For example, the total amount of hours spent in them and the average time. When you scroll down, you can also see details of how many meetings per month you may be having, as well 
as if this meeting has been a physical meeting or an online meeting. In the assessment results tab, you'll be able to see all the assessment tools that you are maybe using with your Team Taylor platform. We can see how many tests have been completed by your candidates, the average score, as well as you can of course see who those candidates are that you have done these tasks with. If you are sending out NPS surveys to your candidates through Team Taylor, you can also find analytics on that in here. We can see the overall score, the trend over time, as well as breakdown by stage type. When you also scroll down on the page, we can see the exact responses your candidates have left and the comments that they maybe have set. Then we will also be able to find a jobs overview in here where we can see details of all of the different jobs that we have in our platform at the moment. In the reject reasons tab, you can also find the most common reasons on why you are rejecting the candidates or why, for example, the candidates are rejecting you. Lastly, in here, you will find your team related analytics. The first one being the activity. Here we can find everything that your team members are doing currently within the Team Taylor platform. For example, the amount of interviews they're having, the amount of sourced candidates they're adding into the platform, as well as how many rejections they're making and so on. When we scroll down, you can also find a little bit more detailed information from here. The very last tab that we have in our analytics here is the referrals tab. Here we can find out information of all the referrals that your employees may have done into the platform. When you click onto the amount of referrals, you can also find out who those candidates have been, as well as the status of them at the moment. Also, Good to know that with any of these analytics that we have had a look at today, you will have the opportunity of exporting these to a CSV file. On top of that as well, one good thing to note is that these analytics refresh once a day. So if you know that you have received more applications than what you can see in here right now, it's good to give it 24 hours so that you can then make sure that you can actually see those details. Now that we have had a look at this overview tab, it's good to know also that you can find your job specific analytics here, as well as your employee specific analytics here, if you would like to get a little bit more detailed information on what we could find out in the earlier pages. Also, with the job specific analytics, it's good to know that when you are in the jobs tab and you click onto a specific job, you'll be able to find job specific analytics there as well. These analytics are also visible for anyone that is part of this specific jobs hiring team. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about custom reporting in Team Taylor, have a look at our other videos where we cover our snapshot reports as well as our historic reports. And of course, if you have any questions, reach out to our support via the chat in your platform. Happy recruiting!